A special thanks to all my sponsors listed above. If you have not checked them out, be sure to go give them a like on Facebook or Instagram. Give them guys a check out. Amazing products for amazing people. Put them in the cooler. I'll have you hold them up in a minute. Lily just caught a nice one. On the rigger. On the down rigger. All right, bud. Hold her up there, buddy. Hold her up. Been out here probably 10 minutes. Billy caught that on the triple threat. Hell yeah. First time dropping it, fish on in minutes. Billy took up here. On that triple threat spoon again. He just lost it right there. Spit the hook. Damn. Willie's got one hooked up here. Tighten the drag up a little bit. He's coming up back there. It looks like a nice fish. Tighten that drag just a little bit. Is it pulling on you? I'll fight him out. <laughs> Nice. I was like, heck with it, pull the long line. Now nah, we'll leave it in. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect timing, though. Yeah. Bars look nice. Going towards shore there. <laughs> you gaining on it? Tighten that drag a little more. There you go. Tighten it more. Unless he's ripping, tighten down on him. Here, I'll get the net ready. Is he pulling? Yeah. What do you got on here?
Keep that rod jump up. <laughs> Yeah. Tighten that drag up. When you're not gaining, tighten it up. Tighten it, 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 tighten it. Real. There you go. Now you're pointing at the hem. Keep your rod tip up right to the net. There he is. There he is. Fish is in the boat. Hit that flicker shad with that high vis tape on it. All right. Nick's pouring it to him. Head, body, head. Head, body, head. <laughs> head, body, head. Hitting that hyper vis tape again on that flicker shad. I'll keep the boat straight. That's my fault. Sorry. Head body, head body. Here it comes in the boat, in the boat. Good job, guys. <laughs> oh yeah, good job, Nick. So what we're doing is we're fishing the shallows. Willie's sleeping there. No, he's up. We're, uh, <laughs> we got a downrigger down at 12 feet. We're running planer boards. Uh, we got a flicker shed at 150 feet back. We've got a thin fin at 160 feet back. And we have a thin fin on a one color at 130 feet back. And then we're running a long line with a flicker shed 160 feet back. Then over here, it's pretty much the same thing as the other side, and we're trolling at 2.6. So, if you don't know, now you know. Except for on this side, we've got one two color out with a treble threat spoon. So, that's about it. Got one on here. I gotta play bumper boats with these damn rods. There you go, Ash. Still looking nice fish. The one right at the boat. There's a nice fish. There he comes. There he comes. There we go. With that triple threat spoon again. We're gonna flip right in the boat. Here we go. Fish in. Oh shit, fish out of the boat. Fish in. Fish <laughs> 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 Oh shit. Holy. Grab hold that triple threat. Trolling away. Waiting for one to grab hold. Let's go. Got a loon and the moon and the sun rising. Flip him on in here. There he is, Cole on the triple threat. All right, I want to demonstrate for you guys how to clean a coho salmon. For those of you who have not seen my videos on cleaning salmon, uh, these cohos are biting good right now. Um, we did very well the last few days. I'm gonna be using this Runkle knife, very sharp knife. You can see I've used this a lot. So I'm gonna get right into showing you how to clean these fish. So what you're gonna wanna do, some of these here. Beautiful fish, just take these coho, Cut right down, and you'll see the fin here on the side. Bring your knife right along the back, and cut right down there, behind this fin. Go ahead and flip it over, take your knife, and cut all the way down the backbone, all the way through this fish, firm pressure on it, all the way to the tail. You flip that meat right off that fish. Go ahead and do the same thing with the other side. 
Run your knife right behind that fin. Knife sideways. Put firm on the fish. Constant pressure. Sharp knife. This Runkel knife is very sharp. All the way through the tail. Flip it off the fish. Just like that. Throw the remains in the basket or in the trash bag here. Then you're gonna to want to cut out the rib cage. And the, if there's any fin, like this one's got a fin on it, see this kind of, and you want to keep the meat that's underneath this rib cage. Absolutely, you want to keep the meat that's underneath this rib cage. And this is some of the most amazing tasting fish that you can get in the Great Lakes. As soon as you start seeing that white of the belly, just run your knife down like that. And then you're going to, got a little fat there on the back, I'll take that off, but you're going to go ahead and skin this. Or you can leave the skin on. I like to skin mine. There's many different ways I do this, actually. I, I'll skin some, I'll leave the skin on some. And then as you can see, there's a little bit of fat right there along that back where the fins were. This kind of cartilage stuff. Pull that away. And when you're done, you got a beautiful looking flail like that. I'll go ahead and show you this. This other side here. Again. At an angle down. Right underneath those ribs. And you just want to be very careful doing this. Try to keep as much meat as you can that's underneath these ribs. Very healthy. Very delicious. You can see the way that belly. Run your knife right down like that. Off it comes. It's ready to be skinned. Skin that fish. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful colored meat on these guys. Look at that. Just gorgeous. And yes, there is pin bones in there. When you cook them, they'll pop right out. Or you can pull them out with pliers. This is a bigger one here. Same thing. Beautiful coho. Cut right down. Make an incision. Pull that fin forward right here, and you cut right down behind that fin just like that. Turn that knife sideways. Press firm on the fish. Just helps keep a nice straight line all the way through the tail. Flip that meat off the fish. Same thing with this side, flip it over. Lift up that fin, right down to the belly. Cut right along to the back one of the fish. All the way to the belly. I'm, I'm just doing it slow to show you guys. And every time you do this, one side will turn out better than the other, and you'll have to do some cleanup on the one side. Usually the op opposite side you start on. So, you guys have seen me clean these fast. I'm just showing you, for the people who haven't seen this, how to do this. So, Start at the back of that rib cage, run your knife on an angle almost flat. It's almost like you're flaying the flay just to get underneath this rib cage to keep that meat that's underneath there. You can lift forward as you go. Just keep that meat as much as possible underneath that rib cage. And you start seeing the white of the belly. You just take your knife, run a straight line to make a nice clean flay. You take it off. Go ahead and turn that fish over. And then you skin the flesh off the, right off the skin. End up with a gorgeous looking flay, looks like that there. Go ahead and repeat that to the other side. I'll do one more for you guys after this, which is just right down underneath that rib cage. Flip it forward, make sure you're not missing much, just like that. Again, right there. And then you're going to take that knife, run a straight line right down there, making that nice clean play. And again, skinning this. So, and as you can see, this Runkel knife, it just cuts through these things like butter. It's amazing sharp. I've cleaned so many fish with this knife. And then you got yourself a 
very gorgeous play again i'll go ahead and do one more like i said just gorgeous fish gorgeous meat amazing tasting in my eyes it's the best table fare there is other than walleye in the great lake so i'd rather eat these over perch honestly just do the same thing flip that meat off flip the fish over come right back to where you just cut press firm on the fish get past some fins and then right out through the tail just like so go ahead and throw the remains away and we're cutting underneath that rib just like this just run that knife right along those ribs right here they're, they're laying right there so you want to Take your knife down on an angle. Pull this back a little bit. I'm losing grip. Just, I'm just like you're flaying it off of there. Just like that. Lift up. See what you're doing. Come back forward. Come back. Same thing. Starting to see the white of that belly. And then you're just going to take your knife and straighten that play up. Just like that. Take that skin off that fish, just like so. Everybody knows how to skin a fish. Another beautiful fly. Same thing with this guy. Play that rib cage right off of that, right off of that fly. There you go. That one kind of come right off. I'm still going to square it up. I always like to. I like a nice clean looking fly. It just looks better. My personal preference. Take that skin off that fly. Or off that skin I should say. Just like that. I'll even go ahead I'll do another one for you guys. But just gorgeous. Gorgeous flies. Go ahead and do another one for you. Cut, make a little incision. That's just a starting point, all that is. Run your knife down this fish, get to the fins, press firmly on the fish. Cut right through the bones and ribs. Flip that play off the fish, flip it over. Same thing with this side, right down. Knife sideways. Then right here you are going to put firmly on that fish again cutting all the way through to the tail just a quick repeat everything the same gorgeous gorgeous flies play that rib cage out of that there's the white of the belly make a nice straight line down it boom just like that a little extra skin there but that's okay it'll come right off so just skin that fish another gorgeous fly and then repeat again same thing and this one i can actually show you something that happens sometimes because it happens so Show you here in a second. Just like that, there's the of the belly. Nice clean line. Off it comes. And right here, you guys can notice there's some of them harder bones right there from the inside of the fish that I missed. And now a lot of guys say, oh, what am I supposed to do? You just do a little V. On each side of it, just like so, stick your knife underneath where you just made that V, cut forward, and that piece will actually pull right off of there, just like this. Just grab a hold of it, pull down, it's gone, and you just flay that off the skin. Just like that. So, a couple more to go, but... Beautiful, beautiful flays.
That's how you clean a coal hole. You can grill them, bake them, cook them, broil them, whatever you want to do. Whatever your preference is, those pin bones that are left in there, you could sit there and pull them with pliers if you wanted to. It's time consuming, or when you cook them, then they stick right up and they'll pour right out. So that's how you clean a coho. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up as it helps my channel grow. If you're not subscribed, please hit subscribe. Thanks everybody again for watching Spars Outdoors.